It is literally like 13 degrees Celsius right now. And I am like boiling. I don't know if you can see the sweat on my face, but geez, I'm full on sweating. Anyway guys, welcome back to another video. Um, oh, I just walked into the shadow there. Um, today I'm gonna be filming or documenting my front lever progress. Um, I don't know what day this is. Um, it'll be in the title of the video and I'll try and put it in the thumbnail as well somewhere. But basically, I've decided to split up my planche and my front lever trainings. So before I would, uh, the title of the video would be like documenting my planche and front lever video. Uh, or my journey and it'll be both of them in the same video however I've decided to now change that and do front lever and planche I will probably train them both on the same day like I always do however I am going to um, just upload them uh, e upload each part separately I think it's gonna be slightly better because it's quite a long video for me to edit because I pretty much just keep my camera on my phone running for the entire workout and I usually train for about an hour, hour and a half. So it takes me a while to edit. So I'm planning on splitting it up, which is gonna be a pain to rechange all the titles of the, the last videos um, if I can be bothered. Uh, and yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing front lever um, my front, I don't know if you've seen in the last few videos, but my front lever combos where I do, like where I, oh, I've just walked into the shadow again, where I attempt to pull up then into a press or a raise. Oh, my, my camera just fell on, not, I just fell on walked into my chair. Um, I would do a pull up and then a raise and a hold. My pull ups have actually been getting a lot stronger and I actually plan on trying to hold a touch shadow at the top because the touch front lever is a goal of mine. So. I'm going to be trying to do that now, so I'm going to go into touch front lever, then into a pull up if I can, a raise and a hold for a couple of sets. I'm then going to use the resistance band for some full front lever work, some raises, um, and I'm going to go into a kind of 10 minute, one set every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, so 10 sets of one advanced tuck pull to touch. I'm going to try and fill that, film that uh, outside because it is quite a nice day today. Um, and then I recently have started trying to train at the very end for the one arm pull up so I am going to train for that as well again I'm probably only going to do like one or two sets maybe most uh, at the very most probably two and then tomorrow I'm going to train for the planche because I trained planche yesterday and my biceps that they, they feel quite sore so I am going to train planche tomorrow and try and get that video uploaded but yeah without further ado let's get into the video all right, this is uh, this is me doing a voice recording actually. I've never really done this before, so this is going to be interesting. I'm basically uh, just setting up my bars, putting on some chalk from my protein. Again, I'm not sponsored, but yeah. So putting the chalk on, preparing myself. Um, yeah, let's see this first set. Uh, this is me having a little water break after that first set. I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good. That touch felt actually really good. But yeah, this is me giving a this is me uh, giving a thumbs up. All right, on to the second set. Second set felt pretty good. I am applying some more chalk here. Um, I do need to fix up my form a bit when I'm pulling up, and I'm watching the the footage for this third for this third clip. And actually, I feel like I kind of rushed it. Like when I go into the touch here, like I feel I had no control. I mean, I'm slanted down a bit, and then I couldn't even have the strength to press up, so I had to do stood in negative. But yeah. Going into this final set, I really tried to lower down as slow and controlled as I could and then as you can see I'm pretty tired here I get up about halfway that press is looking nasty I was full on shaking and then yeah I didn't even have the strength to hold, to barely hold it at the end all right that is the first exercise done those combos and to be honest I do quite like the touch I'm not gonna lie I really think it does help with trying to get trying to trying to get trying to what's the word I really think it does help with trying to fill that last gap when I'm doing the pull. 
is often like a couple inches, maybe one or two inches that, I'm, that my waist is actually away from touching the bar. But yeah, now I'm moving on to doing some front lever raises in the full or full front lever raises with, our, with the, the band. So yeah, I'm only going to film like one set, but yeah, it's the current pump. All right, for the raises, I'm pretty much putting a thin red band around my waist and I'm just repping out around two to three raises. And as I'm watching this, actually, I'm pretty happy with the form and the speed at which I'm able to press up. Um, yeah, I get second one, third one, and then a little hold. I think that's actually a pretty good set as I'm watching that. Pretty decent form, but yeah, just gonna work on volume. I actually did end up filming the second set, just not the last set. But yeah, just to get some more footage really. Um, first press, decent. Second press, pretty decent. And then the third press, a little slower, but it's still decent. I'm really trying to pull with my hips and off my feet so, don't, so that I don't end up with that banana. But yeah, on to the third exercise. All right guys, it's currently pretty warm outside and I decided that I'm going to use the bars outside here to do the front lever advanced tuck pull to touch. I'm only going to film, I'm doing 10 sets total, but I'm only going to film about 3 or 4 simply because me doing 10 sets over and over, which is the exact same thing, is going to might be a little bit boring, but yeah, I need to chalk up my hands and then we will go. Alright, this is me going for my first set. I'm really trying to have a really good false grip and pull as slow and controlled as I can. Again, get my waist to touch the bar and come down. Nice. I think this is the third set. I didn't film the second one, but yeah, this is the third set. All right, I think this is the fifth set, um, halfway through, but yeah. Again, decent pull to touch. You can see that my waist clearly hits off the bar and then I try and hold it at the end, like I do with all my uh, sets. All right, this is the ninth set, second last, um, yeah. I know it doesn't really look like it, but I did feel um, tired by the end of this, but yeah, onto the last set. For this last set, I literally just did the exact same thing, however, I just spammed pull-ups at the end, as many as I could to failure. Um, yeah, Trying to keep the form somewhat clean, trying to pull in a somewhat parallel line, but yeah. I don't know how I got, I think that was about 5 or 6. Alright guys, I'm back inside. That's me done my advanced tuck pull-ups to touch. I did do some one-arm pull-up training as well, but I didn't film it, however, I'm going to show a clip somewhere about now. Uh, of me unlocking or unlocking a one arm pull up. It's not the cleanest form, but it'll do. This is actually me doing a quick physique check. As you can see, I got a little bit of a pump, a little bit of a bicep pump. And um, physique's looking pretty decent, I'd say, for someone that pretty much doesn't lift any weights at all. Um, I don't really know how to pose, so I'm just kind of doing random stuff here. If anyone knows how to pose, uh, yeah, help me out because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, this is my physique and if you guys enjoyed the video then yeah, peace